Welcome to Read Your Comics. You know this iconic cover by Lee Elias, but have you ever looked inside? Today I'm looking at Chamber of Chills number 19, but I'm doing something a little different than my usual. If you're familiar with my channel, you already realize I'm not doing my usual top down of a physical comic and my hands aren't waving around. I'm also not going to be doing my usual breakdown. Instead, I wanted to play narrator on the opening story of this comic and play it up like it's an old radio drama. I had a lot of fun working on this and I hope you enjoy it. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and stick around after the story for a little extra commentary. This is the season of merriment, of marriage, of mirth, and in line with the time of year, we of Chamber of Chills have our own special way of wishing you a happy anniversary. The long summer day is ending. The soft curtain of twilight falls over the city, and in a little house, Charlotte hums happily as she gets ready for the great event. Be patient, dear. I'll join you as soon as the champagne is chilled. Then we'll start our anniversary party with the usual toast to another year of happiness. Our tenth. It's hard to realize we've been together in this house for ten long years. How time flies when one is happy. I never thought the day would come when you would be this faithful to me, Fred, darling. I remember the time you said you never wanted to see me again. I mean it. I don't know how I stood you this long, you... you leech. Fred, you don't know what you're saying. You don't know how much I love you. It must have been one of your moods, because it was so easy to convince you that you'd be better off with me than that Friday Betty Merriweather. You know, dear, physical beauty wears off with years, but I can offer you something lasting. I get what you're driving at. We could live off your property for years. Okay. I'll take back what I said. Oh, Fred, such crude humor. I forgive you. I realize it's my culture and social standing, not my money that attracts you. Anything you say, just so we understand each other. If you ought to be kidded, I won't stand in your way. I loved you madly then, almost as much as I do now. I remember after we were engaged, you broke that date with me. I tell you, I forgot. And I tell you, you sneak off with that common Betty Merriweather. Don't try to hide the truth from me. Look here, Charlotte. I agreed to marry you, but I didn't sign myself over to you like a piece of property. You have no right to spy on me. But I did spy on you, and two nights later, I caught you with her. So, this is the appointment you had? Some little joke? And some little joker you turned out to be. You, you, cheap liar. You going to let her talk that way to you, Fred? Tell her what you think of someone who speaks of your fiancé like that, Fred. Why, er, she, er, didn't mean anything, Charlotte. Did, did you, Betty? How dare you apologize for her? Tell her what you think of her. Tell her how she's a cheap little hussy with the character of an alley cat. Is that what you think of me, Fred? Of course, you were too proud to tell Betty that your business had just failed and that you'd be out on the street without a shirt if not for my help. Well, Fred, is it? Why, er... Tell her. Yeah, Betty, I guess that sums it up. You're just no good. You spineless worm. I don't want to see you again, ever. How you changed since then, dear? Of course, I knew your weaknesses, and I was willing to take you with them. That's because I loved you so much, and I've proven it in all these years, haven't I, darling? You didn't realize the depth of my love then, though. Remember what happened when Betty left? You... you don't love me. You just like the feeling of owning me, as if I was a figure in your bank book. That was unkind, Fred, as you know now. Could anyone have been a better companion, more understanding and tender than I have through these years? The champagne's ready and I'll be right in, dear. It's a fitting beverage for the ten years of loyalty you've given me. Ten years that we've dined together, listened to our favorite songs together, just the two of us so blissfully alone. Yes, I never dreamed that you'd be so true to me, but it was easy to manage, 
easy to make sure that you'd never leave me. I knew there would be more Betty Merriweathers. I knew you wouldn't lose your degraded taste for flashy women. That's why, the night we were married. But that's enough of the unhappy, sordid past. Tonight is our night to be gay and happy and warm, to drink to the long and bright future that lies before us. To the future, darling. To the many more happy years together. Just the two of us. Thanks for watching. This was a fun project to work on. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. I've known about this book for many, many years due to the misfits using the cover art for the Die Die My Darling single, of which I had a t-shirt as a youth. But until recently, I'd never seen the interiors. And to be honest, outside of some EC comics, pre-code horror is a major blind spot for me. Although, I've gotten more of an interest in it as people post them on Instagram. I, My curiosity has really been piqued. This one tends to be a little out of my spending comfort zone, mostly due to the cover. Fortunately, it is in the public domain. And there is a really awesome website that I'm going to link down in the description below where you can go and download public domain comics, pre-code horror, sci-fi, romance, anything really not Marvel DC that's still under copyright for free. And it's all usually high resolution scans. It's just a good resource if you want to explore some, some of this stuff. These books tended to have multiple stories in an issue. Like this one, this particular issue actually has four stories in it. And I only chose to do one for a couple of reasons. One, it takes a little time to put this little radio drama together. But also I kind of wanted to, you know, see the response to it. If, if you guys like this and want more of it, maybe I'll try to do another one soon. Maybe I'll pick a sci-fi book instead next time. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, whether you loved it or hated it, just say something. But just give me feedback. That's all I'm asking for. A little feedback. <laughs> Until next time, read your comics.